Hey, good morning. What's going on? Bonzi here, and time to do a little what? Uh, what are we gonna call this? Taste test? Bonzi try videos? Yeah, call them Bonzi try videos. Why not try? Uh, this uh, is all about Ruler Foods by Kroger and the big shopping, the big giveaway, you know, that we did, the hundred dollar a day giveaway that we did. And um, I had never uh, shopped there before. And if you watch my video, I saved a ton of money. And so we're gonna be doing some try videos now on some stuff that they have there. And super excited about this. Today's kind of like a breakfast theme, uh, especially if it's breakfast on the go. If you have kids like me who are always, you know, uh, running around doing stuff and don't have time to sit down for a good breakfast. But um, these are all things that my kids eat that I, that I buy at the grocery store on the regular. And I'm gonna show you guys uh, the different stuff. And I'm also gonna tell you about the prices and how, how, how big a difference it is when you shop at Ruler Foods by Kroger. Unreal. I couldn't believe it. Now, um, I've, I've gone to an, another place and shopped before where it's discounted items, and the food wasn't that great. Like, I bought it, and my kids really could tell the difference. They were like, uh, Dad, I don't know if I really like this. I don't know. You know, they, they, didn't, they didn't really eat it, so I had to eat it all. But, again, we're gonna. there's a theme. I'm going to do a breakfast one, a lunch one, which might consist of a lot of the snacks, and then a dinner one, which I'm really excited about. I got, I got some bratwurst. I can't wait to try that. My kids love bratwurst. But anyway, my kids love all this food. So let's try it real quick. I don't want this video to take very long. So um, my kids are big fans of granola bars, okay? And yes, as you can see, every one of these my kids has broken into already, okay? Like, they've already... <laughs> I was like, don't get into any of this stuff until I get to try it. So they at least left me some in here. So my kids are big granola bar fans. They are chewy granola bar fans, chocolate chip. We go through about five boxes a week, all right? I'm going to tell you right now, this box right here of eight bars, okay, it was $1.50. Oh, yeah, $1.50 at Ruler Foods by Kroger. Usually they go for $3.49, okay, $3.49. And here is the granola bar. Now, it's pretty similar. I mean, the packaging, but you know, I, I think it might be a little bit smaller, but I don't, I don't know, because I don't really eat the kids' granola. Yeah, it's just a little bit smaller. Oop, I can tell. But the, the, the thing about the, the chewy granola bar is it's got to be really chewy. My nine-year-old is the biggest complaint. My nine-year-old should be the, a, a food critic. But let's give it a try. I really wasn't expecting this to be that different, and I don't think it is. It's pretty good. It's chewy. I dig that. My kids obviously dig it because look, there's only one left in the box. My goodness. Now, for this next one here, again, my kids go through Pop-Tarts like crazy. This is the toaster treat chocolate fudge. My kids go through these like crazy. My nine-year-old eats these for a snack. She'll eat them for breakfast, and then she'll eat them for a snack later. And we don't really toast them. We don't put them in the toaster, which most people, normal people do. We microwave them, just because I don't like, in the toaster sometimes, how crispy they get. And my kids definitely don't like that, and they like them to be gooey. So I didn't uh, microwave them this morning, because I wanted to give it a, I should have microwaved one and then saved the other. But I, I, I like to eat mine, just plain out of the thing, and I'll, I'll get a glass of milk and dip it in there, kind of like a cookie. These, by the way, okay, again, $1.50, same amount as you get at a Pop-Tart. The Pop-Tart at the grocery store was $3.68. So again, half off, man. I can tell you right now, this thing looks just like, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. And, oh yeah. Yeah. I'm a big fan of like when the fudge goes all the way to the outside because my, my kid will always want to like break off the sides. Oh my God. It's already soft. I think I like this one more than a regular Pop-Tart because it's got more frosting on it. It's got more stuff in the middle. It's already soft. Ooh, that'd be good. I'm going to warm that up in the microwave downstairs in a minute. Mmm. That's good. That's good. I'm digging that. Now, this, I don't know. I didn't know which order. Man, that's really good. <laughs> I want another bite. I didn't know what order to go in. 
I wanted to do the drink next, but I think I'm going to do the other piece of food that I got here, and then I'm going to do the drink to finish it off. But bacon, okay, bacon is the big, big breakfast food in my house. All my kids love it. They obviously have to have it cooked different ways. I'm a squishy bacon guy. My 12-year-old is a squishy bacon. My son, 14, has to have it crispy. My 9-year-old has to have it crispy. So I do it differently. Now, I had to cook the bacon at home and then bring it in here. And obviously the kids already went through the bacon, so I had to hide one. Um, and the bacon was uh, really, uh, I'm telling you right now, we tried it at home, it was, it's great. Now I cut my bacon in half, cause you know, bacon's expensive. I mean, it goes any, anywhere from like 686 to like $8, depending on what kind of bacon you get. And we love the thick sliced bacon. The thick cut uh, bacon is what we get. Um, they didn't have any when I went shopping. They were out of it <laughs> at Kroger, Ruler Foods by Kroger. So I got the uh, the premium brand or the uh, center slice or whatever it is. But anyway, um, I cut the bacon in half and then I, you know, uh, put it in the pan. And so the, my, my pieces are always a little bit smaller and I twist it. There's a little, if you watch Tic Tac, you can twist your bacon and then also bake it. And then that's what I did with this. And it's really crispy if you do it like that. If you want to know how to twist your bacon and bake it and make it like this, it's good. So these are a little bit smaller. You might think, oh, they're really small. Well, it's because I cut my bacon in half. So there's more pieces. I try to trick my kids because I don't want to be cooking like five packages of bacon. You know what I mean? But anyway, this center slice bacon was only $3.99 at Ruler Foods by Kroger. The same thing at another place that I shop at a lot, which again, this was $6.86. So again, you're saving a ton of money. And I already know how this tastes. This is, look here. This is great. All right, it's perfect. I don't think, to me, I love it. It's so good. And it's $3.99. Oh, my gosh. But anyway, I don't think. There's been one time that I bought cheaper bacon, and it wasn't good because it was really thin. It was really nasty. It was real greasy. That stuff's not it. So that's like two thumbs up for Oh, I'm so glad I brought another piece. <laughs> I just heated it up in the microwave downstairs. And then here's the big one. This is the big one that my 12-year-old is super excited about. Look at these. This is the big shebang, man. This was the big saver, too. Okay, you know what these are, right? Okay. You're going to... Starbucks drinks, yes. Well, these are a brand called Private Selection, which is also a Kroger brand, a Ruler Foods brand. And yeah, people over there are just like, their eyes just got really big. Like, oh, is Bonzi sharing? Mm -mm, no, I, I, I actually, I've already had one of these this morning. They're really good. I'm going to, uh, I haven't tried the vanilla one yet. This is by the way, spot on to the, the Starbucks stuff. Okay. This right here, I'm telling you, and guys, listen, dollar 50 for all of these. And you know how much those other ones are two fifty to $3. All right. These are a buck 50 a piece saved me. A ton of money because I buy my, my, my 12 year old. I just now let her start drinking these uh, on her birthday this year in March. And um, yeah, she doesn't drink soda. She's not a soda drinker. So I figured, eh, whatever, let's jack her up on some caffeine. But anyway, this is the vanilla one. I'm a big fan of the other one, the, the, the mocha one, the vanilla one, uh, you know, the Starbucks brand. The vanilla one to me is a little bit too sweet. But these, I think, have a little more coffee taste to them. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it, they're so good. It is so good. So, I mean, remember private selection. They're so good. $1.50 for one of these. You can get them in big boxes and take them home. They're so good, man. My daughter... Sneaks them out of the house to take them back to her mom's because her mom, I don't think, lets her have them. But what are you going to do? So there you go. Anyway, to wrap it up, I know this video is taking way too long. The grand total, all right, at Ruler Foods by Kroger for all that stuff right there. Grand total, $8.49. You do that shopping somewhere else at the other places, all right? And, and, I, and I took the average price of all the other stuff. sixteen forty three would have been your total for that especially with these bad boys, okay? And actually the bacon is what really jacked up the price at the other stores. 
So eight forty nine at Ruler Foods by Kroger, sixteen forty three at all the other places. All right, I'm gonna go finish this bacon because it's really good. Stay tuned. I'm gonna talk with my mouth long here. Stay tuned for uh, more try videos. We're doing lunch next week. Mm. I should have brought more bacon.